just lay right together with you Hi guys, uh, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Reindeer Readathon that is hosted over on Twitter. I will leave his main video down below if I can and we're going to go ahead and talk about the prompts. So let's go! Hi guys! Today we're going to be talking about the Reindeer Readathon and I'm going to go over some of the prompts and the points that are for it and what book I'm going to be reading for that prompt. Alright, for the first one we have Dasher which is 15 points. Read a book with the one word title. For that one, I'm going to be doing a reread of Infinity by Sherilyn Kayon. This is a Chronicles of Nick, but this is book number one. It's been quite a few years since I've read it, but I'm going to give you the description of this book as well. At 14, Nick Goddard thinks he knows everything about the world around him. Streetwise, tough, and shabby, his quick sarcasm is the stuff of legends. Until the night when his best friends try to kill him. Saved by a mysterious warrior who has more fighting skills than Chuck Norris. Nick is sucked into the realm of the dark hunters and mortal vampire slayers who risk everything to save humanity. Nick quickly learns that the human world is only a veil for a much larger, more dangerous one. A world where the captain of the football team is a werewolf and the girl he has a crush on goes out at night to stick the undead. But before he can even learn the rules of this new world, his fellow students are turning into flesh-eating zombies, and he's next on the menu. As if starting high school isn't hard enough, now Nick has to hide his new friends from his mom, his chainsaw from the principal, and keep the zombies and the demons semi from eating his brains, all without getting grounded or suspended. How in the world is he supposed to do that? I can't wait to revisit this book. Like I said, it's been quite a few years since I've read this, so I'm looking forward to reading Infinity. Alright, for the next prompt we have Dancer, which is worth 10 points. A companion novel or a sequel as a dancing partner. For this one, I am going with the manga book that I need to read more into, and that is Maximum Ride Volume 2. Hanging recovered, having Angel recovered, Max and the flock head to New York City to pursue a lead regarding their true identities. But where the flock goes, erasers are sure to follow. Even more troubling, though, is the voice that had begun whispering in Max's head. Is it really her destiny to save the world? So... That's all I'm going to say about this one. This is, like I said, this is just the com the manga of the book series to the maximum ride. So I'm excited to get to book two finally. So, yes. Alright, for the next prompt we have Prancer, which is worth 15 points. A book with a map in it. Now this one I'm going to try and get the rest of A Curse So Dark and Lonely done. And it definitely has a map inside. And I know I need to finish this book. It's been around for a while. But look at that gorgeous map. Just look at it. Woo! Why are we like this? We may never know. Alright, that's the book I'm reading for that prompt. Alright, Vixen. This is for 25 points or 20 points. A book with a fox on the cover or a strong female lead. 
for this one, I am going to be listening to the audiobook for Shadow of the Fox. I've heard some good things about this. I don't know exactly what it's about, but it, it definitely has a fox on the cover. So that is perfect. And we love it. And thank you, Libby. <laughs> And I'm going to go into that one pretty blind. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about it. But from what I have heard about it, though, it seems really good. So I'm excited. Alright, the next prompt is a comment, which is worth 30 points. A book that you find intimidating. This one, I've also been on it for quite a, some time. And it is very intimidating and huge. And it is The Malice by John Wynn. I have all the books to this series, so after I force myself to get through this big one, I can hopefully knock out the other three in the series, and then the spin-off books that is after the series, which is only three books, so you know, it's not that bad. But let me tell you a little bit about Malice, though. The world is broken. Corbin wants nothing more to do than to be a warrior under King Brennan's rule to protect and serve, but that day will come all too soon, and the price he pays will be in blood. Evans has sacrificed too much, it seems, but what he wants, the power to rule, will soon be in his scraps, and nothing will stop him once he has started his own path. Verdes is the newest member of the warband for the High Prince Nathier. He is one of the most skilled swordsmen to come out of his homeland, and yet he is always under the shadow of his older brother. Nathier has ideas and lots of plans. Many of them don't involve his father, the High King of Aquilus, nor does he agree with his father's idea to summon his fellow kings to council. The Banished Lands has a violent past where armies of men and giants clashed in a battle, but now the giants stir anew, stones weep blood, and there are sightings of giant worms. Those who can still read the signs see a great or see a threat far greater than the ancient wars. For if the Black Sun gains access to mankind's hopes and dreams will fall to dust, and it can never be made whole again. That sounds super good. At least it does to me, so there's that. Alright, the next prompt, Cupid, which is worth 10 points. Read a genre that you love, and for me that is between fantasy, which is YA, and then there's adult fantasy, but for this one I am going to be going with This Coven Won't Break by Isabel Sterling. It is the second book to These Witches Don't Burn that I read earlier this year, and I I just I love that book. I, I tabbed it the entire book, so I'm hoping to do that again with this one from page one until there's no more pages because that is that all right Hannah Walsh just wants to finish high school it's her senior year so she must be focusing on classes hanging out with her best friend and flirting with her new girlfriend Morgan but it turns out surviving a murderous witch hunter doesn't exactly qualify as summer vacation. And now the rest of the hunters seem more intent on destroying her magic than ever. Of course, Hannah knows a thing or two about juggling romance and Regan missions. So when she learns the hunters have armed themselves with the scarum cap capable of taking out entire covens at once. She doesn't think twice about helping, with the witches across the country losing the most important thing they have, their power. Hannah could be their best shot at finally defeating the hunters, 
After all, she is one of the only witches to escape a hunter with her magic intact. Now, I'm really looking forward to book two and tabbing it up as well as I go and hopefully be featuring this in a vlog news which starts in a couple of days. We're excited. <clears throat> Alright, the next prompt is Donner which is for 15 points. A book with something hidden, un hidden inside art, under the dust jacket, or a chapter titles like with cool like little heading lines that's for what that means but for this prompt I'm going to be going with Forest of Souls by, Lo by Lori and Lee and this is the original cover which I was so excited to find out after I bought the book and came home it does have that little cool design on the actual book but under the dust jacket we got art oh, and it is so gorgeous and I just I'm excited to read this it's been on my anticipated books for the year to read and I find when I seen it I was just like I have to have that not knowing there was something special under the dust jacket it was just I had to have it all right I have no family, no home, no talent other than fighting. If I am not to be the shadow, then I am nothing. I am tired of being nothing. Mm. After a few years of training to become the Queen's next royal spy, Sirisha Ashland's plans are Delirium when the Shanmans attack and kill her best friend, Senango. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names, I try not to. And then Sersha somehow restores Sango to life, unveiled as the first soul guide in living memory, Sasha is summoned to the domain of the Spider King. For centuries, he has used his influence over the dead wood, an ancient forest possessed by souls to enforce peace between the kingdoms. Now with the trees growing wild and untamed, only a soul guide can restrain them. As war, war looms, Sirisha must master her newly awakened abilities before the trees shatter be brittle peace or worse claims Senego the friend she would die for that sounds that is super good as well all right and the next prompt is Blinson which is 20 points a book with some sort of struggle war battle or international struggle now for this one I am gonna try and finish reading the rest of Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames. It's about a war. So let me give you a description in case you haven't heard of this one. Glory never gets old. Clay Cooper and his band were once the best of the best. The most feared and re-owned crew of mercenaries this side of the heart world. Their glory days long past, the merch have grown apart, grown old, fat, drunk, or a combination of three. Then an ex bandmate turns up at Clay's door with a plea for help. It's the kind of mission that only the very brave or very stupid would sign up for. It's time to get the band back together. Like I said, I've read part of it. I just really, I just really need to finish some of these books before the end of the year. So hopefully these are going to help. Alright, the next one, which is Rudolph, which is worth 20 points. A book where the main character doesn't seem to fit in. Outsider or Misfit. For that one, from what I googled, I found A Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Gasp. 
grew out. I am waiting for this to come in through my Libby app for my library. So hopefully that'll come in. Charlotte Davis is in pieces. At 17, she's already lost more than most people do in a lifetime. But she's learned how to forget. The broken glass washes away the sorrow until there is nothing but calm. You don't have to think about your father in the river, your best friend who is gone forever, or your mother who has nothing left to give you. Every new scar hardens Charlie's heart. Just a little more, yet it still hurts so much. It hurts enough not to care anymore, which sometimes what has to happen before you can find your way back from the edge. That, to me, sounds pretty good. So hopefully it comes in soon. And then the last prompt for the Reindeer Readathon, which is the Christmas Star, which is a read a book over 500 pages. I'm trying to think what the Christmas Star points are. Give me just a second. Okay, the Christmas Star is worth 15 points. And for the book for over 500 pages, I'm going to be reading the last and final sequel to The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan, and that is The Burning God. I'm super excited to read it. I just got this in the mail today, so it's perfect to finally film this video. So, yes! Oh, I need to know what happens to Ren and a little bit more the other people that are left with her. I just really need to know what happens to them. And that is all. I don't want to spoil myself because this is the last book and I don't want to know too much more about it, but just know I'm excited. I'm excited and a little scared. So, combination of all three. <laughs> or all two, whatever. Alright, and then there is another prompt, which is slaying it that is worth 50 points. If you have completed all of your prompts and the Christmas star, you can redo one prompt of your choice for extra points. Mm, yay! I'm not sure exactly which one we will do, but I might redo Cupid, which is read a book that a genre that you love, and then I'll just pick whatever random book from that genre that I like, so we will end up doing that if we get all these prompts done and the books completed before the 31st. Oh boy, a lot of books, three different readathons, we got this. Alright, and there you guys have it, that is all the books that I plan on reading for the Reindeer Readathon. Hopefully the video wasn't too terribly long and out of place, it might have been, it's okay we're throwing it out there anyway but if you guys are new here go ahead and give this video a like and get, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys hopefully in a new video soon well there's also vlogmas so I will hopefully be vlogging a little bit of reading and updating and what I get in December and um you might see some clips of Supernatural. I'm not sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I will see you very soon for Vlogmas. And, like I said, just just be prepared for Supernatural in some of the videos. So. We love it. Alright, I will see you guys later.